Well, we looked at temperature controlled switches, pressure controlled switches. Now we're going to look at electronically controlled switches. And these are contactors and relays. Uh, you'll do a lot of troubleshooting with contactors and relays. Probably the most confusing switch and control switch that we have. So what it does, it uses low voltage to switch line power. So you can use, for example, your thermostat will switch on the compressor and the fan and the electric strip heat using low voltage controls. And the contacts on the contactor and relay are what we call normally open and normally closed. And we'll take a look at those. So in this diagram here, the schematic diagram, this is not what you're going to see on a schematic diagram. That's what they show you in the book. What they're going to, sh what you'll see on a schematic diagram is the coil that activates the contacts, which is, these are two common ones that you'll see. And then the contacts for the contactor and relay, which are the normally closed contacts and the normally open contacts. So let's break these down. So the way a contactor and relay works, you remember back with induction when you have a coil of wire and the you have an electric current flowing through that wire, it creates a magnetic field. That's what you're seeing right here. Right here. So you have an iron core with wire wrapped around it. And when you apply the voltage and the current goes through this, it creates a magnetic field and it will pull that switch closed. If you turn that, disable the power to the coil of the relay, there's a spring that opens that contact back up. And that's how, that is how those work. So the coil part of the contactor or relay, which is just a diagram here, is designated by this little zigzag. And sometimes it'll say CR in there, which will stand for control relay. You may see a different designator on different schematic diagrams, a different, different designator inside of the circle on different schematic diagrams. You have to go down to the legend to see which device that control relay controls. Usually it's going to say COMP on it for compressor relay. It may say ID ID on it for indoor fan motor. So you really have to look at that, those letters on there and then go down to the legend and, and find out what that controls. The contacts, normally closed contacts. That means when the coil is not energized, the contacts between here and here are closed. That's a straight line. The normally open contacts when this coil is not energized is open so the wires come in there it's broken there's no there's no connection and the other side so that that contact is open when you energize the relay when you apply power to this coil the normally closed contacts the normally closed contacts are going to open up so it's going to switch from this that you see in the diagram to this so it will open up these contacts the normally open contacts will close. And we're going to go through this again because this is very confusing. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the state of, of schematic diagrams and especially the state of relays.